Hi, I'm Emily Levitt, Vice President of Education at Sylvan Learning. Today is the day that we find out the answers to the Battle of the Books questions. We hope you had a really good time finding the answers to the questions. How do you think you did? You know, books have a great quality to transport us to other places, other times, meet new characters, and have new experiences. They really are a true escape. So now let's escape to the answers and find out how you did. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Middle School 2020 Virtual Battle of the Books celebration. I'd like to start by taking a moment to express that even though we are all experiencing difficult times right now, we at BCPL are so thankful that we still get this opportunity to celebrate with you all the amazing achievements you've made by reading, studying, and preparing for the Battle of the Books. And while we wish we could be with you in person as in previous years, we are nonetheless excited and thankful that we have been able to make this into a week-long celebration of just how amazing all of you are. This past Sunday, we released all of the questions, so you may have seen those and already tried to play along and are now tuning in to see whether or not you answered correctly. Or you may have waited specifically for this video where you can play along as we ask the questions and try to answer as quickly as possible. In the rest of this video, you will see some of our wonderful librarians read the questions and then provide the answer, just like at a regular in-person battle of books. So please play along, keep track of your own score, and then when this is over, compare with your teammates and talk to your coaches and use that to get extra motivated to train for next year's battle of the books competition. Thank you for being with us and best of luck to you all. Let the battle of the books 2020 begin. Hi everybody, my name is Andrea and I'm a librarian at the Pikesville branch. And I will be reading your battle questions for round one. Question one, in which book would you find the following quote? Love your family, work hard and eat well. That's all you have to do. Everything else is a want. Answer. Rebound by Kwame Alexander. Question two, in which book does a character have to get a haircut after an accident? Answer, Estranged by Ethan M. Aldridge. Question three, in which book would you find the following quote? Does it really matter what my interests are? You're like 12. Answer, The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Question four, in which book is a character referred to as an expert mythologist? Answer, Halfway Normal by Barbara D. Question five. In which book would you find the following quote? He craved anonymity, not attention. Answer, Chasing King's Killer by James L. Swanson. Question six. In which book has a character scored between a 92 and a 95% on every quiz and every test? Answer, The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacy McAnulty. Question seven, in which book would you find the following quote? If you get bent, you can become paralyzed when you reach the surface. Answer, Deep Water by Wat Key. Question eight, in which book did the family have blackouts in their house? Answer, Amal Unbound by Aisha Saeed. Question nine, in which book would you find the following quote? 
They were best friends last year, but I heard they haven't said a single word to each other all summer. Answer, clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Question 10. In which book do the characters have a pillow fight without using pillows? Answer, Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. Hi, my name is Erin. I'm a librarian at the Parkville Kearney branch of Baltimore County Public Library. I will be reading you the round two questions for Battle of the Books 2020. Question one, in which book does a character dye his green pants black with stencil ink? The answer is Chasing King's Killer by James L. Swanson. Question two, in which book would you find the following quote? His voice was ice water poured down in my spine. The answer is Amal Unbound by Aisha Saeed. Question three, in which book is a screenshot accidentally shared? The answer is Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Question four. In which book would you find the following quote? She texts a lot. She must have quick thumbs. The answer is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacy McAnulty. Question five, in which book does a trip take 246 minutes? The answer is Rebound by Kwame Alexander. Question six, in which book would you find the following quote? But I need answers, so I've poured over books at the library. The answer is Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. Question seven. In which book does a main character run away and hide in a monastery? The answer is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Question eight. In which book would you find the following quote? Nothing, I decided, could be worse than being thirsty. The answer is Deep Water by Watt Key. Question nine. In which book is a character wearing a Phantom Tollbooth t-shirt? The answer is Halfway Normal by Barbara D. Question 10. In which book would you find the following quote? Well, what do you want to be called? You've got all the names in the world open to you. Pick one. Um, Bill? The answer is Estranged by Ethan M. Aldridge. And that is all for round two questions. Hello, my name is Jessica. I'm one of the librarians at the Lock Raven branch. I'm going to be reading the questions and answers for round three. Question one, in which book would you find the following quote? Dad, there are 14 unanswered messages on the answering machine. The answer is Deep Water by Watt Key. Question two. In which book does a character wear an unflattering bathing suit? The answer is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Question three. 
Question three. In which book would you find the following quote? Christmas is for family people. It doesn't mean anything to a loner like me. The answer is Chasing King's Killer by James L. Swanson. Question four. In which book does a character describe themselves as sounding like a guidance counselor? The answer is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacy McAnulty. Question five. In which book would you find the following quote? One doesn't say no to a witch, young lady. They're unaccustomed to it. The answer is Estranged by Ethan M. Aldridge. Question six. In which book does a character make pomegranate chicken? The answer is Halfway Normal by Barbara D. Question seven. In which book would you find the following quote? He's got so much anger inside and then I get mad and we can't just keep going like this. The answer is Rebound by Kwame Alexander. Question eight. In which book is the flagpole a good meeting place? The answer is Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Question nine. In which book would you find the following quote? She realizes we may die. Not of hunger, not of thirst, not of exhaustion, not yet anyway. The answer is Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. Question 10. In which book does a politician leave his son in charge of his estate while he is away running for political office? The answer is Amal Unbound by Aisha Saeed. Hi, I'm Jamie Caldwell from the Parkville Library and I'll be reading to you round four. Question number one. In which book would you find the following quote? I guess it would be boring if we all had the same view. The answer is The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacy McAnulty. Question number two. In which book does a character lose a brother in war? And the answer is Rebound by Kwame Alexander. Question number three. In which book would you find the following quote? I think your hair looks nice. Really? And the answer is Estranged by Ethan M. Aldridge. Question number four. In which book does a character get the last glazed donut? And the answer is Halfway Normal by Barbara D. Question number five. In which book would you find the following quote? 
and I'm simply writing to you to say that I'm so happy that you didn't sneeze. And the answer is Chasing King's Killer by James L. Swanson. Question number six. In which book would you find the following quote? Is anyone thinking of me? And the answer is Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. Question number seven. In which book would you find the following quote? Kind of chewy, but not that bad. And the answer is Deep Water by Watt Key. Question number eight. In which book would you find the following quote? It won't be the same, but maybe it will be better. And the answer is A Mall Unbound by Isha Saeed. Question number nine. In which book would you find the following quote? Not that I was expecting, but the people really seem to like it. And the answer is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. And question number 10. In which book does a character get earrings as a gift? And the answer is Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Hello, my name is Eric Rutledge, and I'm a librarian at the Reisterstown branch, and I'm here to read you some bonus content questions. Question one. In the book Halfway Normal, what day of the week was After School Art Club? The answer is Tuesday. Question number two. In the book, a Mall Unbound, who is the boogeyman our mothers invoked to urge us to finish our dinner? The answer is Khan Sahib. Question number three. In the book Clicked, what color is the bucket in which the principal kept confiscated student cell phones? The answer is orange. Question number four. In the book, Deep Water, what created the awful stench in the refrigerator? The answer is baloney. Question number five. In the book Lifeboat 12, what toy from the playroom does Ken see in the water while on the lifeboat? The answer is Red Rocking Horse. Question number six. In the book The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl, how many math questions does Levi ask Lucy while she is walking to the pet hut. The answer is 27. Question number seven. In the book Estranged, Faye Edmund feeds a bird as payments for making sure no non-humans were following him. What did he feed the bird? The answer is granola. Question number eight. In the book Rebound, what color suit does Mr. Smith wear? The answer is silver. Question 
Question number nine. In the book, The Prince and the Dressmaker, what is the name of the prospective bride who is a champion horse rider? The answer is Princess Louise. Question number 10. In the book, Chasing King's Killer, what was the name of the popular weekly TV drama that closed each episode by broadcasting the mugshot of a wanted criminal? The answer is the FBI. Thank you all for participating in this year's Middle School 2020 Virtual Battle of the Books. A big thank you to everyone, all of the coaches, the parents, the guardians, librarians, teachers, our sponsor, Sylvan Learning, and most importantly, thank you to all of the students who prepared tirelessly for this moment. I hope you all are proud of everything you've achieved, and we look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you at next year's Battle of the Books competition. Hi, and thanks very much for participating in this year's Battle of the Books. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And special thanks again to Molly Brooks for coming and sharing her expertise with us. We really look forward to this year's Battle of the Books and our partnership with Baltimore County Public Libraries, and we look forward to more partnerships with them in the future. In the meantime, you can find lots of free activities and engaging educational tools at sylvannation.com. And we hope to see you back here again next year. Happy summer.